What's up guys, JV2017 here with a brand new Destiny video and today we are covering the massive update 2.0 that lays the groundwork for the Taken King DLC that was released earlier today. So since it is pretty much impossible to fit everything into this video that is new, I'm going to touch on only the biggest changes to the game. And for you guys that really want to know everything, I will leave a link to the full Bungie patch notes in the description of this video if you are interested. So before we jump into these changes, I know a lot of people will probably be confused about what is in the game today versus what will come out with the Taken King in a week. So let me tell you what's not in the game yet and will be reserved for the Taken DLC first and then we'll talk about everything that was added today. So these things are reserved for the Taken King. Probably there's more, but I can't think of them right now. So the new subclasses are not out yet. They're gonna come with the Taken King, you gotta pay for those. Level 40 as well, you can't go past level 34 just yet. Legendary Marks, the new currency, are not in the game yet. You can't get any. Uh, the new quests, obviously, you can't go through the new story because it's in the DLC. The Dreadnought, the new area, is not in the game yet. New armor and weapons are also not in the game yet. There have been some weapon like damage value changes, but no new weapons have been added to the game just yet. That will come with the DLC. All right, now let's jump into what was added to the game today. And also keep in mind, all this stuff is free. It's a free update. It has nothing to do with whether you're getting the Taken King DLC or not. This is a global change. Light score is this new function of what used to just be your light level. Now it's separate from your level entirely. It has nothing to do with your level, and it represents an average of your attack and defense values. Also, keep in mind those attack and defense values have changed from what they used to be. So now, also, your light score is affected by your weapons, your ghost, your ghost shell, which is a new thing they added, your class items, which now have defense values, same with your ghost, and your level 40 artifacts, which is a new kind of item that you can equip, they all contribute to your light score. Your light score is so important that it actually calculates your ability damage, your player health, and kind of affects your weapon damage along with the attack on your weapon. That's all computed from your light score. So it's almost like the master value. I mean, it's something that you can use to determine whether you can do activities or not which is super, super important. Also, as a side note, Bungie has renormalized, that's the wording they use, all of the values in the game in terms of attack, defense, and also the damage numbers that you see above the enemies. All those numbers have changed. Uh, to give you guys a reference, a 365 attack weapon before 2.0 is now a 170 attack weapon now, and also the same with those completely ascended and upgraded exotic armor pieces. Those are also 170 defense. So they're trying to have like a streamline value. And of course, if you have 170 and all of the slots required, the best light score you can achieve at this moment is 170. Now moving on to the next big change, and that is with balancing. They did a lot of under the hood balancing in terms of weapon class tuning. So. Just to give you guys a very, very extremely brief overview, auto rifles, pulse rifles, scout rifles were all buffed. The hand cannon and the shotguns were pretty much nerfed. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs. It's kind of hard to say that some things were, you know, nerfed as a whole or buffed as a whole. There's a lot of, you know, increase this, but decrease that. They did a lot of tuning underneath the hood uh, to, you know, their liking, and I guess the community's complaints as well. They also nerfed all of the perks. All of the weapon perks seem to have been nerfed. They all have reductions. Um, and also, a lot of the exotic gear, that's weapons and armor, have been tuned in uh, one way or another. Like the Galahorn got nerfed, you know, the Thorn got nerfed. Uh, those sorts of things all of that tuning and balancing happened within this update so if you guys want to know more about that of course check out the link in the description below bungie added a quest screen now so the quest screen takes all of your quests and bounties and organizes them in one nifty place with a very pretty ui i'm really happy with all the ui changes they brought with this update that's probably something i would talk about for a whole video but i'm gonna save you guys <laughs> that so the quest screen gives you detailed steps on quest steps and also 
bounties. You can now turn them in directly from the quest screen on the right side. It's beautiful. I can't believe that it took them this long to do it, but at the same time, I'm just really excited that I don't have to go all the way back to the tower to turn in my bounties or quests anymore. Or actually, you do need to come back from quests, but bounties, you can turn them in immediately and it's so handy. I'm just very glad they made this change. Next up, they really made a ton of tower changes, but I'm gonna touch on the big points here like I have with everything in this video. There's new vault space. It's the updated vault. It is in the game now. It's available for everyone. The collection system is now in the game. You have your exotic blueprints. You have your ships, your shaders. There's even an emote uh, collection. I don't know what that's about. Uh, there's a lot of awesome collections to collect all the stuff that usually shouldn't take up that, that space in your inventory and now it's just limitless. It's very, very useful. Also, there are new bounties to check out in the tower. And also there's a field test event going on tomorrow. It's actually this new system. It's launching tomorrow from the gunsmith. Remember the gunsmith was pretty much useless before. He now gives you weapons that you can field test, go out in the field, test them out, bring them back, get some XP. It's going to be really cool. So that little thing is launching tomorrow. You guys should check that out for sure. Last but not least, Bungie was awesome. They were being good guy Bungie and they're doing this preview event for all of the Taken King Crucible content. So that means Taken King maps, including ones that are on PlayStation. You can actually play on Xbox right now. It's very cool. The Rift and Mayhem Clash modes are in the game and also some additional balancing. All of that is free. It's their preview for players to check out the Crucible content in the Taken King. Again, all for free. So taking advantage of that for the next week. All right, guys, that's everything that's in the game so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for continuing Taken King coverage. The game is launching. The DLC is coming out in just a week. I'm very excited. And I'm going to be bringing a lot of new content with that DLC. I'm talking about weapon reviews, you know, a lot of informational kind of videos, tips and tricks, stuff that you guys expect on my channel. And also when the raid comes out, you guys better expect some raid videos from me as well. So once again, hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all next time. Peace.